In a special meeting, Great Falls City Commissioners voted unanimously to allow the city manager certain emergency authority. The resolution and ordinances approved by commissioners allow the city manager to act as necessary when it comes to emergency decisions being made. Basically, it gives the city manager the authority to establish curfews, limit government services to the public, and even request assistance from other agencies. With the changes we see every day from the coronavirus outbreak, commissioners felt this was a necessary step to make sure the city could continue to operate and to ensure the health, safety, and general welfare of the citizens of Great Falls and the city's employees. You can find more information on these at KRTV.com. Meanwhile, Cascade County Commissioners met today to discuss a motion on Montana Expo Park to restrict anyone from renting the facilities at Expo Park in an attempt to align with regulations set out to combat coronavirus. Commissioner Joe Briggs moved that the motion be thrown out as the Expo Park had been compliant with regulations and already canceled all of their events going through most of April, which was agreed on by the commission. They also voted on other contracts regarding two overlay projects and also approving the detention center's bid, decision on a bid rather, for commissary services for the adult detention center. On Monday, Montana Supreme Court Chief Justice Mike McGrath asked judges across the state to release nonviolent or other jail inmates to reduce the spread of coronavirus. McGrath said right now there have not been any reported cases in Montana jails. So we wanted to check in with Cascade County Sheriff Jesse Slaughter about the situation at the Cascade County Detention Center. Sheriff Slaughter says he has chosen not to release any prisoners at this time. He says that he understands the desire to flatten the curve, but releasing additional inmates comes with risk. Some of our food is short, some of our uh, toilet paper, different things, and they may need to be able to survive. So let's say they, they steal. Well, they're going to get arrested and come right back into the jail. Now, likely, there's a likelihood that they were exposed to the virus, and now they contaminate the entire facility with the virus that otherwise, had they stayed in jail, they wouldn't have done. The sheriff also said that they have many precautions in place to combat the spread of coronavirus in the detention center and that they could quarantine and potentially treat anyone showing symptoms if necessary.